Hello everybody and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 91. As always, I am Shane Thomas and you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also hop over to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter. Today we have a pretty cool module that I'm going to be going over that I just learned about a few days ago and it's very helpful if you've ever struggled with getting forms to show up inside a modal dialog or a JavaScript pop-up window or however you want to refer to it then the modal forms module with ctools can help you for sure basically what it allows you to do is it uses the ctools modal API to create nice little pop-up windows for your logins, your request new passwords, your create new account. Also works with contact, uh, contacting users, comments forms, and web forms. So out of the box it's pretty handy just to get started. You can also then, and I've done this before as well, look at the code and use that as an example to add other custom forms into the modal or the ctools modal API if you haven't had experience with that in the past. We're going to go over just the basics of this module because it's pretty much a drop-in and you're off and running with pop-up windows. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I already have the module installed. And I've done a little configuration, but we'll go through it. It starts out with everything disabled. So it starts out like this. But I've went ahead and I've enabled for the login links. So it basically it's going to automatically take any login link and show up in a modal form. And I've also wanted to show the links for the create new account and request new password in that form. We'll go ahead and have it on for the new account links, the password request links, and for comment form links. I'm not going to go over the contact links, so you don't need to worry about that. But you can, of course, try that out. It also allows you to change some style options. You can change the background opacity, the background color. You can change the height for the different pop-up windows. So you can have a small, a medium, and a large pop-up window. And this is for custom links, which I'll show you that towards the end here. And as you can see, it can be a percentage. If you use the scale option, this is 80% or it can be a set pixel width which is 550 and then a height of 450 so it's pretty configurable as far as the different options for the size of the modal windows and then you can set it to not show up or show up on specific pages so I'm going to save this and we're going to give this a try I'm going to start by coming over to the test site here I'll refresh the page and as you can see there's a create new account and request new password if I click on create new account it pops this open in a nice looking modal dialog JavaScript pop-up window request new password does the same thing so that's pretty handy also you can see there's a login link here if I click login it brings a nice login form and also because I checked that box to add the links it adds the link to allow you to get to the request new password page or the create new account page. So we'll go ahead and give this, uh, we'll give it a try here and log in. As you can see, it just works. Logs me in. Not much to it. I've also went ahead and added a comment. And then because I checked it for showing comment forms in extra windows, or in pop up windows, excuse me, I can go ahead and pull up the reply and it brings it up in a nice modal dialog. If I wanted the new comments not to show up below but instead show up in the nice little pop-up form I can go into the content type and I don't remember what type of content this is but I think this is this content type and we come into comment settings and down here you can remove the show reply form on the same page as comments now if you save it and come back you'll see that in order to add a new comment there's now a link 
that will show up in the nice little modal dialog window. So it's pretty cool. You can also look at how to add these links in your PHP code, which it says you should use the Ctools modal text button, which I would recommend using as well. You can pretty much just copy this code and drop it into your PHP where you need it, and it'll give you the nice formatted link. You can also manually build the link with HTML, so that's what I have done here. I basically copied this code in. Make sure you get your href right so it starts the right path. I had to add a slash to the beginning of mine in order just to get it to work with this example, but just make sure you have the right path there so it's getting to the right page. And as you can see, I have my HTML. It's Ctools use modal class and also Ctools modal modal pop-up small. So it's using that small setting that we saw in the configuration options. It just says modal login. One important thing to note, if I'm already logged in and I click this, I'm going to get an error. So if I click this, you're going to see an error, and that's by design because I'm already logged in. So obviously you'd only show this to people or users who are not logged into your site. So if I go over here and I log out, and I click this link, I get the login form. If I want to use the medium option, I change ctools-modal-modal-popup-small to dash medium. I save this. Come back here and refresh the page. You can see it's much bigger now. And of course I can change this to large as well. And as you saw before, you can change how big the small, medium, and large presets are in the configuration options of the modal forms module. So if I come back, now that I saved it, refresh one more time, and click the link, now it's nice and big, 80% height, 80% width. So as you can see, it's pretty much a turn-on module, and you can already get forms showing up in modal windows. If you've ever had to do this custom in the past, past you'll notice that it's a lot easier. You can just plug it in and bingo, bango, bongo, you got yourself a working module. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. And we'll be back again next time with another exciting episode where we do something Drupal related. As always, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.